Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, yesterday I did have the uh, Grayson Bay versus Judge Perkins video all ready to go, but something corrupted it and I couldn't really get it uploaded. But you know what? Say la vie. But needless to say, the dude was uh, convicted on his charges and, uh, well, all but two and the other two ended up being dropped by the prosecutor. But this is where the fun begins because this is where the judge tears into the sovtard over his stupidity, especially when it comes to quoting case laws that he knows nothing about. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Versus J Javar Tyrone Grayson, uh, case number... Uh... SP1464-3761, uh, SP1464-0991, SP1463900, columns 1, 2, and 3. Uh, uh, state your name for the record. And Grayson, and Grayson Bay. Grayson Bay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, state your name for the record. And Grayson Bay. All right. This is uh, Today is the date and time set for a jury trial. Ms. Uh, Schneider, can you put your appearance on the record, please? Good morning, Your Honor. Alexa Schneider for the People, P80322. For the record, the issuing officer, Officer Ambrose, was present, although I released him. Um, Mr. Uh, uh, Grayson Bay, we didn't conclude some of the... First of all, I want to, I want to um, get the record straight from yesterday. Um, I did uh, mention, uh, and, and you did, cite, where's Mr. Grayson Bay's file? <coughs> Yes, but I brought it back downstairs. Yes. Um, I wanted to um, <clears throat> clear up uh, something I said on the record as far as the case that you cited out of Alabama. Um, that, that I was incorrect as far as the facts of that case. Uh, you, you see, soft hearts, you need to take a lesson from this judge because he admitted he made a mistake and now he's rectifying it. That's how you get far in life. You admit your mistakes, you improve upon them, and you move on. You don't try to act like you know everything when you actually don't. That doesn't get you anywhere. Unless you're very good at faking it until you make it, but that's an entirely different subject altogether. Um, was not that was not the case where they were walking down the street and did not obtain the um, license to assemble. That was a case where he um, has another and another uh, reverend uh, organized a sit-in and um, at a restaurant um, and um, they were ticketed. And the unfortunate part about it is, and that's just how our society is and it was and still is for the most part, um, is that this case had to go all the way to the United States Supreme Court for him to get um, 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 justice on this case. But again, you're citing cases, sir, that you're not even reading what the cases are about. Now, in many of my videos, I demand that citations be used. And, uh, well, in certain cases, there are softards and even frauditors that do cite the uh, cases or laws or anything like that. But more often than not, when you actually look up these things, well, they have nothing to do with what the situation is all about, or they're completely wrong to begin with. It is almost as if, uh, well, they never read it to begin with and might have gotten it from another source who told them that it would be helpful to their cause. And they never bothered to read it because they believe the source to be credible. You know... A moron. I can I can actually uh, find you. I that 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 that's um um 
is something a lawyer would be um, um, uh, can be um, brought up uh, to the grievance commission on and potentially lose their license. All the cases in there, all the cases that you have cited are saying exactly the opposite of what you report. You, have, you, have, you look, have you looked at any of them? Yes, sir. And you read them? When did you do that last night? Um, I've been studying more science. Uh, my religion is more science. Um, as you can see, if it looks like a duck, it acts like a duck, it tells you it's a duck. It's pretty much a duck. So I'm more science. So I've been studying for over 10 years. Hey, you crown munching, smooth brain, soft tart. Uh, the question was not about more science. The question was whether you had uh, researched any of these cases or not. So... Yeah, given that you deflected away from the question to uh, spout off your uh, more science garbage, uh, yeah, I'm willing to bet that, well, you didn't study at all. And, um, but you haven't been no, studying. No, no disrespect to you, Yana. I just want to remain mute to the fact and acknowledge that my mother is here, the matriarch of my family. And so I just want to remain mute to this case in this matter. And um, the floor is yours. This is your courtroom. No disrespect. My mother is here. And, no, and no, 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 no. Uh, Ma'am, can you stand up and state your name, please? My name is Mary Grace Hall. Uh, good morning, Miss Grace Hall. And it's, it, I'm not, I'm not, it's nothing about, you can, you can, you can see, I just wanted to be, you acknowledge, I do acknowledge the fact, and, 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 and I appreciate the fact that you have uh, support here. The court always recognizes that. That's why I asked you to, to stand up. But um, you want to remain mute now, but you didn't remain mute when you filed this, these pleadings. This is how you speak to the court exactly the way you did. Like now the 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 the, the, the uh, maybe the um, form is not exactly the way the court kind of or the rules have to fly, but I understand you're in pro per and you might not know all of those rules. But when you start filing these documentations, you're speaking to the court and you're representing that this is the current state of the law as, as, as this is the current state of the law and this stuff applies to your case and and, and I should be able I should be reading this stuff and 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 and, and, and be able to interpret what you're saying about your case through these cases. And when I read these cases, it says exactly. The ones that I've read, and I've seen these cases filed before, it's just exactly the opposite of what you're trying to say. Because what I understand you're trying to say is that you're trying to say that you don't need a valid driver's license to drive on the, on the roads, you don't need uh, proper registration on your vehicle, and you don't need proper insurance, and you're even going as far as saying that the, that the police officers, and correct me if I'm wrong, that the police officers do not even have the authority to pull you over. Is that correct? Again, you're on our uh, remain mute to the situation. Well, dude, uh, you might as well remain muted because, uh, well, you've already proven that you don't have the education to understand any of these cases that you presented to the judge as your defense, when in actuality, they didn't support your cause whatsoever. So therefore, you should remain mute and use that silence to actually go study and understand this crap, dude, because, yeah, you need a lot of help in that circumstance. And I replied, my mother is here. No due respect to the court. My matriarch is here. And I, I gave you um, pretty much documents to read. And uh, I'm standing on those documents and, and right. I'm going to remain mute. Thank you. All right. So I've already, I've already um, found you guilty of the uh, count uh, of refusing to exhibit a driver's license, SP 14640991. I'm going to find you on that, on that. Uh, case two hundred and forty dollars. I've already re found you responsible on SP one four six three nine zero zero one um, expired plate. I'm going to find you one hundred and forty five dollars on that.
and I've already found you responsible on SP. One four six three nine zero zero three insurance no proof, and I say guilty on SP one four six four zero nine nine one, and that's as uh, that's two hundred forty for the insurance no proof. I'm going to find you one hundred ninety five dollars on that. All right. Um, as far as the other counts, um, I had in the note. Uh, well, you told me off the record that uh, you're you're going to dismiss. Um, SP 1464-3761 and SP 1463902. Is that correct? Uh, That's correct, Your Honor. So 145, 195, and $240, sir. When can you pay? Um, I would probably leave uh, after the holidays, maybe three months. I might get, get something up for you. Are you working? I do carpentry. Uh, yeah, you do carpentry. Are you working? Yes. Yeah, I have jobs lined up. Okay, so why do we need so much time? I, I, they lined up. They're not completed. They're just future jobs that I have lined up. Yeah, I had a carpenter roommate who was exactly like you. Had all sorts of jobs lined up, but somehow they always fell through. So presently, you're not working? Today, I'm not in court. You got this play on words. Yeah, I mean traveling and is driving. This a, is, 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 yeah, there be the system. Play on words. I mean, it's the truth, though. I mean, I got to speak the truth to you, right? You're you respect not the truth. Now, if you, okay, I'm, I'm not working you. today. I'm not working. No, no. You're not. If you, if you, if I'm asking you, why is it taking three we, months to get up? I don't typically give out three months uh, to to pay fines, when, especially when somebody's working, and especially in a in a career that's a skilled trade. That's a very lucrative career. So I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to give you the time you need, but I need to make a, a good basis for that. Because you're not giving me a good basis for giving you three months and you're telling me you're a carpenter and you're telling me you're working. Now, if you're telling me you're a carpenter and I'm not working currently, then that's something that I can go with. But okay. you're okay. telling me I'm just not working today. Right. I'm going to go to work tomorrow. Well, we I'm going to work yeah. tomorrow. I'm very, going to work the next day. Yeah. So very, I'm not giving you three I'm months. Very yet. optimistic. That's why. That's why I say, well, as this present, not, but yeah, tomorrow. I'm very optimistic about work. So yeah. I'm, Oh, yeah. so so you don't you're not working today. I'm not working tomorrow. I'm going. I I, I have uh, grass work tomorrow to do. Um, there are schedules to do, and I do have a future as a job to have things to be done. But as you saying, as I'm working, I'm telling you the truth. Not as now, no. If that clears, if that makes you feel comfortable, no, it's no I'm not, not working. It's, 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 I'm, I'm trying to get ascertain. No, I'm what's not working. On, I'm not working at this present moment. I'm not working. And when you say you 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 work, you have some aspirations of yes. working, to, like everybody does. Yes. We're looking for well, not everybody, because not everybody is trying to work. Right, right exactly. Yes. So you're not working now, right? right? Thank you, Honor. Let me ask you this, uh, ma'am. Is 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 is, there, is this the kind of I don't know. I want to make sure that you don't need any mental health services. Do you? Are you questioning my mental capacity? I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, I would uh, question your mental stability, dude. I have lots of questions about your mental stability, especially the fact that you uh, consider yourself to be some sort of special snowflake that is immune to the law or something like that. Because, I mean, I mean, you, you, you're giving me these play on words. You, you're giving me all you of this speak stuff. The truth, you, you, I don't, I don't speak the truth. I don't feel you're speaking the truth to me. You are, I'm not working today at this present moment. I'm not working. And you, you, you're not working. You don't have anything set for tomorrow. No, I don't. Right? No, nope, I don't. I don't. You don't do you have anything working. set for next no, week. No, I, I, I'm just anticipating things. You're right. I don't. Do you understand what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. I'm, gonna give you, I'm, I'm just going to get you out of here. I'm going to give you um, till March the 5th. Um, you can even zoom in or come in. Um, I'm going to give you till March the 5th to have the stuff paid off, all right? Can I get a total of that? 
Oh, so you want the total. Okay, that's a breakthrough right there for this mentally inept Sovtard. Uh, normally, uh, they want to skirt the law and not have to pay anything. But, uh, yeah, so which means you have not fully succumbed or don't really have 100% confidence in this sovereign citizen game. Uh, yeah, that's probably it right there. You just haven't fully committed to it. But time will tell if he's fully committed to it. We shall see the next time he returns to court, if he returns to court at all. But I'm guessing that, yeah, it's a good possibility that he will be back here. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?